of the match and a goal comes from Shakiri's last contribution of the match. The players, of course, coming on and, 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 and making this run. Actually, the last words I told him, please be cheeky. Uh, be cheeky and, and, and try something, be active and these kind of things. I didn't think that he starts with that with the first touch, but it was good. Um, and Shaq's last ball was an incredible ball. Um, but with Shaq, he played really good and he maybe could have played 90 minutes, but that's the problem in the moment that you just don't know. He didn't play like plenty of games and then had before that slight injury problem. So we are, we, my mood is constantly concerned about injuries. I'm constantly concerned about injuries and we try to save everybody and um, like it was with Millie as well. So, but as far as I know in the moment today, nothing happened. Um, uh, injury wise and so played a good game um, and won um, got three points which was absolutely great Speaking of injuries what results have you had as regards Joel Matip's scan and as cover as well there's been reports that you're moving for Ben Davis at Preston what truth is there in that? We, dwell, and we, are, we are not we don't have to final Diagnosis like specialists must uh, must have a look and stuff like this until we know exactly. Um, and yeah, to transfer things to to transfer, we don't say anything. So nothing to say about until something is done. If something will be done, fantastic. Okay, in order, we'll go Daniel Matthews, Nick Callow, and James Nancy. Uh, first of all, Daniel. Hi, Jürgen. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hi there. Um, I just wanted to ask about um, the discussion you had with James Milner after you brought him off. It all seemed um, obviously to, to go rather well afterwards. But could you just tell us what what was said and what he was kind of slightly unhappy about and what you said to him? I was not unhappy. It was a little bit my English was a little bit the situation. So the thing is that we, in half time we changed the formation, the offensive formation. So the setup. Emily was now slightly deeper, like a double six together with Jenny. Diago slightly higher. We told Jenny, <laughs> Millie. Um, because he had his hamstring stiffened up slightly. So we told him, be controlled, um, pa more passing than running with the ball, stuff like this. <laughs> but it was clear we'll take him off. We just waited until Curtis um, had a proper warming up. And then I saw the last long, long sprint Millie had, and I, I thought, well, um, we missed the point, we missed the moment, and I was really, really worried. And he came off there and said, you tell me I have to play deeper, and now, now I run less, and now you take me off, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but then he left, and he came back and said, yeah, by the way, good point, good decision, all fine. Nick Callow, and then James Nursey. Hi, Jürgen, can you just say um, a couple of words about Mo Salah? Obviously, nine hours or so without a Premier League goal. I must say something about his mentality, that he can then score two outstanding strikes like that. Yeah, and actually he scored a goal against Tottenham. It didn't count, I know that, but it was a brilliant goal. So um, his, he had nothing to do with it that he didn't count. It was a handball in the build-up, but the goal was brilliant. Um, and even that, for sure, was a good sign for him um, that a couple of things are, are clicking again. And um, tonight he played a super game. Huh? Um, um, was really in the game, was really involved, was flexible, all these kind of things. Kept the ball, um, passing was good. In, in the end, with the controlling of the game, was really good. And the first goal is just a super smart goal um, because I didn't see it back, but from my perspective, it was that I think Fabianski couldn't see the ball really because the box was full and, and, and he chipped it just in a far corner. Super smart. And the second goal, what a counter attack. Two passes until until um, Mo got the ball. So the last pass was obviously spectacular from Shaq. First touch Mo, outstanding, outstanding, world class, and then nice finish. So yeah, top game, top goals. And James Ness, James Ness to finish by the looks of it, James. Hi Jürgen, um, just um, continuing on about Mo Salah, if I may. Opta said tonight that Mo has scored um, 20 goals or more for the fourth Four consecutive seasons. That's the first player for Liverpool since Ian Rush in the 80s. He was obviously an icon iconic uh, figure. I mean, that's quite uh, a stat there on Mo, isn't it? It shows the company he's keeping now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not surprised. So I work on a daily basis together with him. He will never stop um, having a massive desire for scoring goals. So for sure not. So he's, um, he's a top, he's a world-class player. There's no doubt about that. So, um, and... 
Yeah, I always said in the last few weeks when we didn't score that many, um, the only thing you can do, you can try and try and try again and you have to make good decisions or better decisions than maybe. <coughs> and tonight we didn't force it. Tonight we, um, how I said, the first goal, a proper smart goal. In the last few weeks, whenever we probably would have tried um, to force it, like shoot through the legs or whatever. And this was really keeping the overview and chipping the ball in the far corner, top class goal. Thank you. I don't know if I could ask just one more while I'm on. Um, you said to TV, Jürgen, that maybe in the last week you'd had a really good chat about some things that perhaps helped with your, your recent form. I don't know if you could elaborate, elaborate on that at all, please. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Cheers. Thanks,